Perhaps the most versatile HT antenna on the market today is from Smiley Antennas. You can save a 7% discount at bettersaferadio.com, which carries the Smiley Antennas. We're going to go through about four different versions of that antenna right now. I've said several times on the channel before that my favorite HT antenna is the Signal Stick from hamstudy.org. Signal Sticks are elastic, elastic style antennas. In fact, this is one right here. You can roll them up like that and not hurt them. Uh, they'll actually handle up to 50 watts, so you can put it on, my, on a mag mount on a vehicle. But that's my signal stick that's on top of one of my AnyTone radios, and they're a dual-band antenna. One of the things that I think signal stick is lacking is that they don't make a tri-band antenna. And I told the guys this when we were at Dayton last May. I was like, you guys need to make a tri-band antenna. Come on. But the signal stick is great. Nothing wrong with that antenna at all. I still very much support them. And you can find a link to those in the description below. But these smiley antennas are a little bit different of a monster. They have multiple versions, which you can see right here. And they have this little, what they call a base piece. So this is an SMA male, so it would go on a radio with an SMA female connection. And then this is the connection to the antenna. Well, you can take this off here, just like that, off of any of these antennas. And this is your base. And you can get these bases with SMA male, SMA female. There's one of each. This is the same base. That's an SMA male base. That's an SMA female base. And then you can also get a B and C, which I don't have here. But uh, I will link all of these in the description below and also my coupon code for BetterSafeRadio.com. Special thanks to Better Safe Radio for sending me these antennas. He sent me an email and he's like, hey, do you want to review these? And I'm like, oh, yeah, those are really cool. So let's try that. So what you see pictured here, this is the long one right here. This one right here is the two meter antenna. This here is their 440 ham radio band antenna. This is a 440 GMRS antenna, a little bit shorter. This one's tuned to the 465 megahertz band. So GMRS is a little bit higher in frequency, which makes your antenna a little bit smaller. And then this, of course, is my favorite one. This is the tri-band, which is really going to be, it's going to work for multi-band because it's, you could really adjust it to, if you had an analyzer or something, you could adjust this to, 440 you could adjust it out to two meters you can adjust it somewhere down in the middle for 220 i don't know if you just adjust it out if it will tune all three bands maybe that's something i'll try in a future video i haven't uh i don't have my analyzer here with me in the shack today but this is this one's listed as their tri-band antenna so it'll work for tri-band radios here's the thing i broke my antenna for my kenwood d74a i lost my original stock antenna and then i got that diamond antenna and i broke it so i'm like guess what i'm gonna put this sucker on my D74A, and it already has the base, it has the base on it for an SMA male already, which is the correct base for a D74A. That's it, it has SMA female on the radio, so it needs an SMA male antenna. So we're gonna, I'm gonna have fun using that. Hunting season is right now, and that D74A works great because you can, it has Bluetooth. So I can put an earbud in my ear and listen to the radio, listen to my buddies talking on 6.52 Simplex. Let's go ahead and put this 440 antenna. Now, what you can do, some of these radios, like there's a, uh, you can program the any these AnyTone radios to be part 90, which opens up full transmit, and you can do GMRS on them. They're not part 95 GMRS certified. But you know what? There's a lot of people who use part 90 radios, which this one is, on GMRS bands. So if that's something you want to do, I'm not going to tell you what to do, whatever. But we're going to put that there. This fits on the radio just fine, and I could change the bass if I wanted to, if it was the other of their style. So now I'm going to key up my Sherry All-Star node. My DMR repeater is upstairs, but I don't have it online right now. Uh, so Sherry All-Star node. KC5 HWB testing. And that All-Star node has a little stubby antenna on it and is upstairs. Hey, you had a courtesy call on top of you. Say that again. Oh. Uh, come back one more time. Oh, the courtesy tone on their end walked up, which I can't hear. It doesn't. It doesn't transmit over All Star. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Just, uh, just testing another radio with another antenna here. Just uh, thought I'd key up the All Star system. This sounds good. The other one sounds better, but this one sounds good as well. Okay, so the other one I just recorded. Okay, so I'm gonna let y'all in on a little back, a back secret. I just recorded the video for the Icom ICT10. Okay, well that's good to know. 
that's good to know. This is this is my Anytone radio, and I've just got a my DMR radio, and I've just got a a, a new Smiley rubber duck antenna on it. So I wanted to uh, make sure it was uh, working well. It is. It is. It's got full quality audio, uh, full quieting audio. Um, the other one had a little more bass to it, but hey, they both sound good. <clears throat> All right, Kelly, thanks for being out there, man. I won't keep you uh, 73, and uh, good to talk to you again. KC5, HWB. So there it is. So we can, so I could uh, I could change this, and I could put the GMRS antenna on it if I had this radio opened up right now, which I do not. You know, Again, if you want to use a Part 90 radio on GMRS, there's a lot of people using Motorola's, which are Part 90 on GMRS. Technically speaking, they're not certified for Part 95 Echo, which is GMRS, but... I don't really understand why that is because Motorola front end rejection and frequency stability and frequency spectrum analyzer stabilization and purity of signal is probably better than anything you've ever used, especially the lesser expensive Chinese GMRS HTs. So why would a Part 90 radio not be allowed on those bands? I don't know. A dumb idea. I'm not telling you you should break the law, but that's what it is. These smiley antennas are available at bettersaferadio.com. Check the links in the description below. You can save a 7% discount with the coupon code of HR2L7. Special thanks to Better Safe Radio for sending me these. I'm looking forward to testing them in the field. Put a comment below. Let me know if you've used these and what you think about them. 73.